really good gank coming in. They're enforcing the Zanyas onto the swing actually, even though he's building tank. Like, this is late into the game. It's not really gonna be catching waves that much. They actually get the pick on Akali, but this is the two stop the stop on from Zanya is coming into play. And she's able just to one shot the Jin. Talon finding two. Kindred is actually untouched here though, so. And Talon's gonna go down. This should be game for Blue Team. Ooh, Ezreal getting caught once again. As we see here, since he does not have Flash, his E is not. Actually, if I come in the top lane, but Hecarim does not have much mana. Lilia can actually clutch this out. He's gonna be going for the Hecarim here. Then he's getting Hecarim, ends up just walking away and take the fight afterwards. Zeta's just wrecking havoc in the back. Tries to go for Lilia. He's gonna end up getting Lilia. He's 1 HP, ends up picking off Lilia. But can Ezreal clean this? Oh, yeah. huge finding from Lux. Yeah, this is, this is the problem with Ezreal. So, he was actually untouched this fight. The blue team was able to get a pick again onto the red team and get yeah, picking up the two dragon here. Whoa. The Lux actually does a lot of damage. So here comes the Hecarim to clean it up. As it seems like we're just gonna be running down red team here. The Hecarim out misses, but should be fine. No big deal. Great. We're going back in. So Lilia is actually doing incredible amounts of damage here, but the support Lux is popping off. She's not support no more, she's she's the carry. Yeah, looks like Blue Team is going to end the game after this fight. Cool, Yone going for the solo kill, but it is traded, but he does get the first blood. To be anywhere close to try to help uh, his Olaf out here, as we do actually have a gank on or, or an initiation onto the bottom side, and RG's death is so low, taken down already by the pike. And if you're bringing out a cheese bottom lane, that is the last thing you want. Yeah, and this is the power of Athenaeus and Pike against the likes of Swain and Cyrus. Such oh, damage. No. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, and he runs forward with the oh, buttery bread, the trying to get away here, gets feared back into the Cassidy, and that might be what they needed to turn this fight, actually, as two people go down the middle and the jungle oh, out, and the fight breaks out. One person already down, being that Velcock. Now, Warwick does drop next. Roots coming out for Aphelios as this Olaf is trying to do the best work he could possibly do. Does not get the execute off on him, but you have to think he's going to be dropping the second he comes out of stasis. Does not grab at him. Doing more and more work for this Aphelios, and he has picked up two kills in this fight. Manages to save the game for them. And it's double kill. Oh, the fight is so close, but General Sniper says, I beat you up last time around. Here's one on me into two. Gets the double taunt, but his health is going down rapidly where he goes out to go in. Massive combo coming through. General Snipers is putting down the damage now. Is it enough? The tears do manage to pick him up. The crying mummy picks one up on his way out. Dune 32 has arrived to the fight. Does not manage to land the Zenith Blade, so he will not go down. Buttery bread. Point blank shotgun rounds going on to Quebec, and it's gonna be hard to outplay that one. Dune 32 gonna be the next man to drop. Zyra decides to grab that one for herself. Says, I think that it brings a lot more good utility into that into this game for Hecarim. But meanwhile, he's really proven me wrong here. Already gets the first <laughs> blood using that ghost that I was just kind of bashing to pick that one up. And Buttery Bread is about as small as a Zack as you can get. In the, late game. In the early game, it is massive. And uh, the Shadow Rope is not going to help you out a whole lot here in her shadows as he is just sitting pretty. But actually, Steven oh. is going to be the one dropped down. Cannot believe that as the dragon has been started. But look yeah, who's but here. Yeah, this is gonna get tight as Akali has made her way back into the fray. R RPG is already taken so very low. The Soul Shackles is on, but it's not able to proc. But uh, the Buttery Bread is trying to make the difference here, but the Yasuo ulti did not get, oh no, it did get off, but it just wasn't nearly enough. And this is disaster as all the little Bloblets tried to get back to the main mess. Mordekaiser dropping on the top side, leaving the Mountain Man himself. 